Now, let me tell you something I know. I know that if you've never asked a patient to write a review before, there could be some level of trepidation. How are they going to respond? Uh, should I really be doing this as their primary care physician? Well, I can tell you this without a shadow of a doubt. If you do a great job, when you ask your patient to write a review, it will be by far the single most wonderful conversation you will ever have with that patient, and here's why. When you ask in the manner I'm going to show you, they will be so delighted to want to write a review for you that they won't be able to contain themselves. They will tell you how wonderful you are and how they can't wait to write the review, and that I promise. Now, that being said, Let's take a look at, again, what we found to be best practices. The dentists, doctors, uh, dental hygienists, nurses, the men and women that are getting by far the highest response rate. They are virtually all asking their patients to write a review in a very specific way. Now, what I'd like to do is I'm going to go ahead and ask as though I am a, um, an urgent care physician. And I'm just going to go through the whole process first, and then I'm going to break it down into each of the five steps. Are you ready? Here we go. Now, the first thing I want you to notice is I'm going to ask at the end of our time together. After all, the tests are over, the uh, patient's teeth have been cleaned, or whatever the case is, they're comfortable, they're about ready to go. Here we go. Hey, Dave, before you go, can I ask you a favor, please? Well, thank you. Later today or tonight, when you get home, would you mind taking just a couple of minutes to write a review for us? Because when you do, it helps other people that are looking for an urgent care facility learn about our practice. Would you mind doing that for me? Well, I really appreciate that, Dave. What I'd like to do is ask one of the people up front if they'll send you an email with a link in it before you leave uh, to where you can write your review, and I promise you, we're not going to share your email with anyone. Is that okay? Dave, thank you. I am really looking forward to reading your comments. Well, let me stop right there. And I want you to notice four things that I did not do. Number one, I did not ask you to write the review while you were still in my office. Give me a break. Uh, you don't feel good. It's manipulative. You don't want to do that for tons of reasons. And if you would like to know all of the reasons, contact me and I will tell you why. I didn't ask you to do it while you were in my office. Two, I didn't ask you to write me a good review. How manipulative and pushy is that? Three, I did not ask you to write a review for me on Google or Yelp or Rated Dentist. Uh, let the system take care of that. You don't want to guide people to where they need to review. You're not qualified to, to determine where they're most likely to do it. I did not do that. And the last thing I did not do, and please do not do this, it breaks every single rule that every review site has. I did not offer to pay you to write a review. So those are four things I did not do. Let me go over each of the five steps and show you what I did. And by the way, right below this video, you will see a script that you can use and practice. So here's what I did. Step one, Dave, before you go, can I ask you a favor? That is something known as commitment consistency. When Dave says yes to something small, he is much more likely to do something big. Number two, later today or tonight when you get home. Now, notice how I immediately let Dave know I do not expect you or want you to do this while you're in my office. Later today or tonight when you get home, when you're feeling better, would you mind taking just a couple of minutes to write a review for us? Because when you do, it helps other people learn about our practice. Now, you notice I didn't say it, uh, it helps us market our practice. Uh, none of that. I just want you to freely express yourself. Now, remember, the system will separate the people that want to give you five stars and send them to your review sites from the ones that don't. So don't be afraid of asking all of your patients if they'll write a review. You need that feedback anyway. The next thing that I did was I told Dave what to expect, and this is important, and I encourage you to coordinate this with the people at the front counter if you're not going to send the review request yourself. Dave, what I'd like to do is ask one of the folks up at the front counter if they'll send you an email with a link in it to where you can write the review. And I promise you we're not going to share your email with anyone. Now, that last comment is only important to about 75% of your patients. They don't want you sharing your email. But notice what I did. I let Dave know that this is what you're expected to do, Dave. I'm going to bring you up to the counter. Someone is. And someone at the counter is going to send you a review request before you leave. 
The very last thing I said is a big deal, and it is important, and it's very subtle, and I doubt if you actually remembered it consciously, but subconsciously, I guarantee you remember it. Here's the last thing I said. Dave, thank you. I am really looking forward to reading your comments. Now, Dave may have thought, well, maybe I'll write a review or not, but when Dave now knows you're looking forward to writing, to reading his comment, the likelihood of him doing it is much, much greater. One more time. Hey, Dave, before you go, can I ask you a favor, please? Later today or tonight, when you get home, would you mind taking just a couple of minutes to write a review for us? Because when you do, it helps other people that are looking for an urgent care facility learn about our practice. Would you mind doing that? Thank you. Before you go, I'd like to ask one of the folks up front if they'll send you an email with a link in it to where you can leave a review. And I promise you, we are not going to share your email with anyone. Dave, thank you. I'm really looking forward to reading your comments. That is how you ask a patient to write a review, and that is how you ask a patient to write a review so that they not only want to do it, but that they will do it. All right, now, uh, there is one more step in video two, and then we're going to go to video three, and this is critical. You have to transition the patient up to the front counter. Now, either you can do it or your assistant can do it or someone can do it on your behalf. But if you do not do this, you really might as well not even bother asking the patient to write a review. You need to walk the patient up front and let's assume the person working behind the counter is Julie. You would say, hey, Julie, Bob has offered to write a review for us. Will you please send him a review request? Now, you want to say that to Julie so Julie hears you, and you want to say that in Bob's presence or the patient's presence because you want the patient to understand they're expected to interact with Julie, who has the system open and ready to go, so that they know exactly what to do. If you don't do that, the patient is just going to walk out the door, and if you hand Julie a note that says Bob has offered to write a review, and she types in the name and sends it right away, again, you are leaving tons of potential reviews and referrals on the table. You need to make sure that the people at the front counter uh, engage with your patient and send the request while they're asking. All right, video three. I'm going to show those of you at the front counter exactly how to send a review request and ask for a referral and how to do it in a matter of just 10 to 20 seconds. See you in video three.